2010, I became a congressman. And 2016, nandito ako, alam ko na na-involve si Michael Young. Kaya ngayon nga lumalabas ito eh. Dahil ngayon, ang mga tao, hindi takot. And now, hanggang ngayon, takot ka pa rin. Uh, DJ Wilkins, you mentioned that uh, certain Alan Lin and uh, Lee Wen Chong is not uh, one and the same. Uh, Mr. Chair, kasi nakakuha ako ng... De, ano lang po? Yes or no lang po muna? Before you, before you, ano? Before you explain. Sa image of the... Do you confirm? Sabi po, ang question was, do you confirm that uh, you have a conclusion that Lee Wen Chong and uh, Alan Lin is uh, not one and the same? Yes, ito na lang po. Sa image identification, Mr. Chair, I confirm na hindi sila pareho. O, oh, nakatano. Dito, saan na ba nakita mo? Yes, Mr. Uh, I have that. Actually, Mr. Chair, ako yung gawa ng image na yan eh. Yung nasa inyo ngayon, yan yung ipinresent ko, Mr. Chair, sa uh, balakan niyan. So, pinagkumpara ko lang naman yung dalawa, Mr. Chair. Napakalaki ng diferensya. Ito na ito po. Do you have an holdings? During your time, Kamu with Alan Lin? Kama kayo, Mr. Chair? Do you have holdings with Alan Lin and Lee Wen Chong? Yung kay Alan Lin, Mr. Chair, yun yung uh, involved siya dun sa clandestine laboratory na ang Cavite. Kay Lee Wen Chong, Mr. Chair, wala akong idea. Hindi, kaya nga eh. Kaya nga, just like sa Michael, kay Michael Young, huwag mo na mag-conclude. Diba, that is not conclusive kasi ang, ang, Katulad kay Michael Young, now there are, there are proof, no? When we started the investigation with my committee, doon sa private picture ka pangbangga, and then, consequently, may investigation din doon sa pictures, that's no more lasting yung pangalan nila, pati yung uh, initial na uh, matrix, no? Kaya, punta sa dulo din yung Michael Young, which is connected with Edita Young and Willie Ong, doon po sa warehouse na na karib over. Yes, Mr. Chair. Yeah, I suggest uh, uh, the DJ Wilkins, can you please uh, be you know, diligent enough? No? Ingat lang po sa mga statements natin. Yes, Mr. Chair, sa ngayon, with what happened sa Congress, I believe Michael Young is in... Is in no, no, I'm talking about Michael Young, tapos na po yun. You have already admitted kanina na during your time, wala kang holdings. But this time, medyo mayroon na. Yes, Tama? Sir. Kaya, the same is true with Alan, Alan Lee, please. Yes, Mr. Chair. Para, at least malinaw lang kasi yung mga statements mo, mga conclusive. Uh, yes, Doon sa nakita mo. Yes, Mr. Chair. Diba? Yes. Now, DJ uh, Lazo, with regards to Alan Lee and Alan Lee Wiching, may ano ba kayang holdings? Uh, Your Honor, We were able to talk to a confidential informant. Uh, he's a reliable informant. When he talked to us, uh, he hasn't even seen the presentation of uh, Colonel Asierto before the Committee on Dangerous Drugs. When we took down what he was telling us, it confirms to some of the statements of uh, Congressman Asierto. So, Colonel Asierto. Sorry, Colonel Asierto, Your Honor. Like, for example, Your Honor, according to our informant, Alan Lin, whose picture was identified by Miss Rose Lin as his husband, her husband, rather, is uses the names of Alan Lim, Alan Lim, Jeffrey Lim, Jeff Lim, Ayong, Wei Xiong Lim, Lin Wei Xiong, Lin Wei Xiong, Wen Li Chen. Mr. Chair, is Rose Nono Lim, Lin listening to what uh, General Lasso is saying? Are you listening to what? Yeah, Lasso is saying. Sorry po. Ah, DJ Lasso, can you repeat the holdings that you have with regards to Alan Lin and Lee Wichin? Yes, Your Honor. According to our uh, informant, 
who is a very reliable informant. Alan Lim uses several names. Alan Lim. Alan Lim. Jeffrey Lim. Jeff Lim. Ayong. Wei Xiong Lin, Lin Wei Xiong, Wen Li Chen. Uh, these names all are confirmed by the different uh, statements being heard over the, uh, before the Quadcom now, you know. No? Uh, have you coordinated with other intelligence agencies, especially the ISA Panika, with regards to the identity of the mentioned names? Uh, no, Your Honor, because uh, they have no holdings. We don't have holdings. PNP also doesn't have holdings on these names. So we just relied on this uh, informant that we had. And later on, when Colonel Asiato came out before the Committee on uh, Dangerous Drugs, nagtugma po. So nakukonfuse po talaga tayo. But we're only talking of one and the same person. Alan Lin, na uh, kinonfirm ni uh, Mrs. Rose Nono Lin, na husband niya. Okay, Mr. Chairman. At least my, my initial na uh, information na tayong hawak. Now, uh, Ms. Uh, Rose Nono Lin, yes, you mentioned that your husband is a Chinese national, di ba? Yes, po. Okay. So, he is based in Hong Kong? Yes, Mr. Chair. When was the last time that he traveled from the Philippines going to Hong Kong? May 2024 po, Mr. Chair. May 2024 and until now, hindi na siya bumalik? Hindi pa siya nakabalik. Yes po. In your information, based on your discussion, is she familiar with the investigation going now with the Quadcom? Alam niya po. Alam niya. So, most probably, if we issue a Shoko's order for him today, he might be present to the next hearing. I don't know po, Mr. Chair. Hindi ko po masasagot. Husband mo yun? Mr. Chair, hindi ko naman po hawak yung isip ng husband ko. Hindi ko po alam kung ano yung isasagot po niya. So, anyway, so you confirm that uh, Hong Kong Bay siya? Yes, Mr. Chair. Siguro naman kung Hong Kong Bay siya, he has uh, some, uh, except for the passport, he has some government ID. In Hong Kong? Yes, Mr. Chair. Uh, ano yung mga IDs niya? My driver's license po siya. Hong Kong issues? Yes, yes po. Ano pa po? Uh, may Hong Kong ID po siya. Hong Kong ID din? Yes po. Yes, ano lang, Mr. Chairman, kayong disabito lang po? The, all the identification cards, government IDs of your husband in Hong Kong, kaya hindi sabihin po sa Komite Sekretary. Just to confirm po. Um, yes, Your Honor. Uh, Ms. Lynn has committed that she will submit the documents requested by by Congresswoman Jinky with respect to the identity of Mr. Lynn Weishong. Yeah, but I, I have heard also that uh, the Honorable Luis Ro asked for the birth certificate. But uh, what I am asking now is the uh, government ID issued to the husband of Ross Nonolin in Hong Kong. And you mentioned about the driver's license. Ano ba po? Driver's license po and then Hong Kong ID po. Please, submit na lang po sa committee. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Okay, thank you, Congressman Paduano. And last to interpret... Mr. Chair. La very quick. Just to complete the documents which are being requested. Just make it quick, uh, Congressman. Yes, yes, Mr. Chair. May I move that we request also with the Bureau of Immigration for travel records for the past 10 years of one Alan Lim, one Wen Li Shen, and one Wei Shun Lim. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, uh, Congressman Jinky. Uh, Congressman, please take note and uh, coordinate with the agencies concerned. Now, the last to recap the uh, Your Honor, yes. according to our informant, uh, we don't have information that he uses a Chinese passport, but he is Chinese, obviously. But to our informant, he holds 
a Vietnamese, Burmese, and Cambodian passports. He holds three passports. Uh, according to our informant, Your Honor. This, this Alan Lin. The same, yeah, Alan Lin. Okay. He was, he was never mentioned to be holding a Chinese passport. So are you saying, uh, DG, that uh, pagka pumapasok siya rito, ang gamit niya any of these two, three, uh, uh, three passports? Possible. Yun. But using the same name? Uh, he doesn't, he, the informant did not mention the names that he is using in the three passports that uh, he named, Your Honor. We will probably coordinate with the Bureau of Immigration. Uh, thank you for that information. Now, the, the si Congressman Ago. To recap the the deliberations on the topic of the dangerous drugs, um, the chair would like to recognize Congressman Ako. Uh, you have 10 minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, before I proceed, may I ask uh, uh, Madam Lee? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. Is your husband charged with any criminal offense? No, Mr. Chair. No, then therefore, there's no reason for him not to be able to attend this hear the hearings of this committee. Tama po ba? Yes, Mr. Chair. Tama? Yes, Kung wala Mr. siyang kinakatakutan, dapat umapir siya rito, as you are claiming. Tama po. Yeah. Thank you. And therefore, if we issue an invitation, we can course it through you. Pwede po. Pwede. Ang hindi mo lang sinisiguro kung tatanggapin niya at dadalo siya rito. Tama po, Mr. Chair. Ay di, sabihin mo sa kanya na Juan, uh, huwag ka nang umuwi rito sa akin. Hindi mo ba pwede sabihin niyo? Mr. Chair, baka totohanin nun at huwag na uuwi din. Ah, so takot ka, naiwala yan ka. Mr. Chair, kawawa naman po yung mga anak ko. Thank you. Biro lang yun, hindi yan. Uh, is... Colonel Asierto is still with us? Ed, are you still with us? Yes, sir. Ed, yes, when, sir, did, yes, you, sir. when did you make that, con uh, that controversial report? Uh, I think, sir, it's uh, September 2017. 2017, okay. Thank you. I'll get back to you. Now, yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Paul Gutierrez, still around? Yes, Mr. Chairman. Doon sa interchange ninyo, either you or Mr. Guban uh, would be lying. Tama po? Kasi wala naman kayong uh, witness na magsasabi o magpapakita na ikaw ang nagsasabi ng totoo, di ba? Tama po, Mr. Chairman. So kami na nandito ngayon, sa committee na ito, we rely on the Shall we say uh, reasonable reasonableness of uh, your answers? Tama? Tama po, Mr. Chair. Uh, tinanong ka kanina, in your uh, more than 10 years of uh, uh, covering the Senate, ang sagot po ninyo ay eh, minsan nyo lang nabisita yung isang uh, uh, witness na, na contempt at na detain. Tama po? Tama po, Mr. Chair. So, eh, there must be something special para bisitahin mo si Mr. Guban sa kanyang detention center. Tama po? Tama po, Mr. Chair. Yes. So, para sa akin, I would, uh, I would go with the uh, conclusion of the Honorable Pimentel na I see no reason why you should go there just to get a scoop as you have reason a while ago. Uh, yes. Are you... Have you worked under Mr. Benny Antiporta? No, Mr. Chairman. No, pero parehas kayo nag-practice na sa media. That's right, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Antiporta, kayo po bang may ari ng Juan? Ng uh, remate ngayon? Yes, Mr. Chair. Uh, and you acquired it from uh, former Councilor Pichai. Tama? Ay, Congressman Pichai. Yes, Mr. Chair. Yes. Pero kayo po, bilang media practitioner, just like maybe uh, Mr. Paul Gutierrez, ay eh, nagpapatrolya rin po kayo bumibisita sa customs. Would that be correct? 
Uh, nung nasabit pa po ako, hindi, masakutin nyo lang po ng yes or no dahil... Uh, Tama po? Uh, Mr. Chair, uh, pwede ho mag-explain ng konti? Dati po kasi nasa anti-smuggling po ako nung napunta ho ko sa gobyerno, kaya nakikita rin po ako sa customs dati. But uh, nung wala na po ako eh, hindi na po ako pumupunta ng customs. So, uh, after your uh, after leaving the media, hindi na po kayo naging player sa customs? Uh, I, I'm not uh, in any way a player of customs. Uh, I'm uh, an operative year 2007 po. Operative ng? A presidential anti-smuggling group po. Director po ako noon ng SOG. Oh, kasi, kasi may nag-text sa akin na aking gubuit eh. Uh, yun po ang sinabi. Now, uh, John Wilkins, uh, may you know how long or what was the first time that you were assigned to Pedea? Since uh, 2022, uh, Mr. Chair. At uh, 2002, Mr. Chair. 2002. Uh, and when did you become the head of PIDEA? Uh, 2020, Mr. Chair. 2020. Okay. Thank you. Kasi, uh, itong istorya ng ito ay isang istorya ng libang magkakaibigan na uh, parehas ang trabaho. They were uh, working for government. Si Colonel Acerto, si uh, Captain Perote, si Colonel Fajardo, uh, Mr. Guban of Customs, at isang PNCO uh, named Jerry. They were they knew each other because of their work. But because of a life-changing report uh, made by Colonel Acerto, uh, where he made some allegations, in so far as the uh, for former mayor and former president is concerned, would that be correct, uh, Colonel Acerto? Yes, sir. Yes. May I know why you made that report? Because that is my duty, Your Honor, Mr. Okay. Chairman. As a police uh, officer, I received an, uh, uh, an information, an raw information. I validated the information, then after the validation, I made the proper report. Mm. And in that uh, report, you alleged that uh, President, uh, former President Jigong was connected with individuals connected or involved in illegal drug activities. Uh, the persons you were referring to were a certain Mr. Michael Young and uh, Mr. Alan Lim. Would that be correct? Uh, yes, Sir Honor, but on my first report, there is no mention of the name of uh, President Duterte. Uh, uh, the name of President Duterte was, uh, was included on my second report that I submitted to then GPNP Oscar Albayalde. Thank you. And these reports were, the first one was submitted to then General De La Rosa, the chief of the PNP. And the second report was submitted to General Albayalde, also a former chief PNP. Tama po? Yes, sir. Tama po, sir. And uh, would it be correct na because of that report, uh, uh, former President Digong's reaction was to publicly condemn you, even calling for your death and uh, for associating him with illegal activities, including the alleged uh, sale of uh, 1,000 plus AK-47s to the uh, New People's Army. Would that be correct? Yes, sir. Including the 10 million bounty on my head. Yes. Uh, and therefore, would you agree with me that that statement implies a personal vendetta against you for your allegations? Yes, sir. And because of that also, 
na file ka ng kaso for the sale of the AK-47 and for illegal drugs? Yes, sir. Thank you. Now, we go to the role of uh, Jimmy Guban. Uh, Jimmy Guban, you're the uh, Costones intelligence officer working with uh, Colonel Acerto, Captain Perote, Colonel Fardo. Tama po? Uh, we are working together, Your Honor. I beg your pardon? We are working together, Your Honor. Yes, kasi isa yung linya ng trabaho nyo. But, Apo, Your Honor. But because, according to your statements doon sa unang hearing na napunta ka sa dito, sinabi mo na because of fear, uh, inamin mo doon sa hearing, doon sa Senate, na uh, you accused uh, Colonel Asierto of masterminding a 13 billion shabu shipment in magnetic lifters. And you testified that Asierto facilitated the shipment but later tip of authorities to intercept part of it. Would that be correct? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Yes. And uh, uh, because of this, uh, that controversial report of Colonel Asierto, uh, your colleague, si Captain Pirote, a retired investigator, was allegedly killed uh, due to similar reports he filed uh, implicating Mr. Yang and Mr. Lim. Uh, Colonel Asierto, would that be correct? Ed? Sir, no, wala po. Uh, Amang po yun, sir. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, pinatay si Lito Perote, yung kasamahan ninyo, because of alleged similar reports he filed implicating Mr. Yang and Mr. Lin. Would that be yes, sir. Siya po yung. Now, I do not know if this is uh, violated. There were reports that the skeletal remains of uh, Perote were discovered inside a drum in 2019. Allegedly, a DNA was conducted, but the results were never released. Are you, were you knowledgeable about this? No, sir. No. No, sir. Hindi ko po alam, sir. Okay. Pero may report na ganon. Now, uh, Colonel Asierto, you joined the uh, anti-illegal drug uh, uh, task force of the PNP in 2003. Yes, sir. Yes. And uh, this uh, task force was made because wala na yung narcom because of the PNP yes, law passed in uh, 1990. Tama? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Tama po, sir. Yes. And uh, you stayed with uh, this task force up to 2017. Up to this year, uh, I was released in uh, 2012. Then I returned on 2017, sir. Yes. As the deputy for administration. Yes, sir. Yes. Unfortunately, in 2016, the former mayor of Davao became the president. Yes, sir. And in 2018, because galit na galit sa sayo, at uh, nagkaroon ng allegations na involved ka sa drugs, nagkaroon ng Senate hearing in 2018. Yes, sir. Tama. And the accusations... Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And the accusations against you where you were the mastermind of the 13 billion shabu shipment in July, 2.4 billion uh, shipment at the MICP or Manila International Container Port, stuff inside abandoned magnetic lifters, and 11, 11 billion of missing shabu suspected to be uh, packed in similar magnetic lifters found in Cavite. Ito po yung charges sa iyo, di ba? Opo, sir. Yes, sir. And uh, this was testified to also by your friend, uh, Mr. Guban. 
Yes, sir. And uh, I think he he recanted, sir. Yeah, I know. Uh, in uh, in uh, a court hearing, I was informed that Mr. Jimmy Kuban uh, recanted all his statements implicating you during that Senate hearing in 2018. Tama? Yes, sir. Now, may I know the reason why in one of your statements, sinabi mo na ang real drug lords are Mr. Alan Lim and Mr. Michael Young. May I know the basis of your statement? Or how did you uh, come to know about this? It was uh, revealed to me by my uh, reliable informant, sir. Now they are involved in the uh, shipment of the illegal drugs, especially during the time of <coughs> uh, President Duterte. And all the drugs are coming through the Bureau of Costco. Uh -huh. Thank you. And uh, General uh, uh, Wilkins of Villanueva, uh, you were with uh, PIDEA with in 2002 and you became the head in 2020. Tama po? Yes, Mr. Chair. And during that state of yours, uh, have you ever heard of the uh, involvement of Mr. Michael Young and Mr. Alan Lim sa illegal drugs? Uh, only uh, Alan Lim, Mr. Chair, and not, uh, no Michael Young, Mr. Chair. Up to 2022, when you became the pit day ahead? Yes, Mr. Chair, kasi wala. Kasi, hindi siguro, ko. Uh, sige. Kasi sir, wala ako natanggap na information, Mr. Chair, eh. Ay, napakahina ang information nyo ng Juan, ng PDEA. Because in 2010, I became a congressman. And 2016, nandito ako, alam ko na na-involved si Michael Young. 2016, Mr. Chair, is nasa uh, Region 10 ako, Mr. Chair. Kaya nga, sinasabi ko nga, from 20... Uh, 2002 up to 2022 nasa PIDEA ka yes Mr. Chair and yet you tell me na hindi ka man lang nakarsib ng information ng involvement ni Mr. Young specifically from 2016 to 2022 dahil takot kayo na maglagay ng report na si Mr. Michael Young ay involved sa illegal drugs why? kasi alam ninyo na malapit siya kay former president uh, digong lahat naman kayo nun takot yun, takot kayo eh and do not tell me na hindi totoo yun kaya kayo nga lumalabas ito eh dahil ngayon ang mga tao hindi takot and now hanggang ngayon takot ka pa rin tapos pinagayabang mo you have a name to protect for your children I do not believe that. Thank you, Mr. Chair.